Well, hello and welcome to my channel and my first YouTube video, first speed paint, first everything. I'm Hawksayer and I won't keep us too long and get straight into the video since the speed paint's already going. If you follow me over from Instagram, this is a speed paint of my Clan Gen Dawn Clan challenge. I just decided to start doing my updates over here on YouTube instead. So first up we have Lake Star over here. She's the leader of Dawn Clan. Um, I feel like it's worth mentioning that I am already starting in year three of this clan. Uh, just because I have been doing this challenge for a little while. But Lake Star is a female she-cat. She has eight lives right now. She lost her first life whenever she saved one of her apprentices from drowning. Unfortunately, that apprentice did end up dying. Their name was Hollow Paw, but anyway. Let's see, and their past... This year, in year three, Lake Star welcomed the loner Glow Stem and her kits, Cod Kit, Carp Kit, and Stork Kit into the clan. We'll talk about them a little bit later. Uh, Lake Star also mentored Carp Paw and also unfortunately became Bass Paw's mentor, who we'll talk about later, at the same time because of the lack of warriors to train apprentices. Lake Star named Carp Pond and Stork Dapple as warriors, and Lake Star also named Dog Lily, Daisy Pelt, and Holly Jump as warriors. She currently doesn't have a mate or any kits of her own. Next up, we have Frost Pelt, who is the current deputy of Dawn Clan. She is an adult senior female warrior. Um, the only things that she really did this year in year three was unfortunately grieve for her former apprentice Hollow Nettle's death, which was that apprentice that I talked about earlier that Lake Star saved and lost a life to. Um, she also apprenticed Dog Paw this year. And she's actually the second deputy for this clan, and we'll get to meet the other one later. Next up, we have the medicine cat for Dawn Clan, Thunderfoot. They are an adult male warrior, uh, adult male medicine cat, I'm sorry. Their only apprentice that they've had so far is Codtooth, who we'll meet here in a minute. And they are currently mates with Crow Rump, who we'll also meet later. This clan just doesn't have rules about uh, medicine cats not having mates. It's also worth noting that they wear some crow feathers in their tail just for decoration. That will be important a little bit later. I didn't mention it with Lake Star, but she also wears some red petals in her fur. Not for any particular reason, she just likes them as well. Next on our list is our medicine cat apprentice, Cod Tooth. They are the only apprentice of Thunderfoot at the moment, and they are the daughter of Glow Stem, one of the loners that was welcomed into the clan, so they're originally a loner. Um, they tend to wear a cat mitt behind their ear just for calming reasons and to help other cats, and that's about it for Cod Paw. She hasn't really done a whole lot. She just recently grew up and became a full medicine cat. Next up, we have Speckle Puddle, who is the mediator of our clan. If you don't want know what a mediator is, it's exactly what it sounds like. They just help to solve arguments and disagreements between clan mates and the other clans. Speckle Puddle is actually was originally from a different clan. Um, they were welcomed into our clan because they were the survivor of a tragedy. And this is actually why they decided to become a mediator. They felt like after this tragedy that they experienced in their last clan, they really have a good sense of how to solve disagreements. However, no one knows what Speckle Puddle's tragedy they survived was. They've never told anybody since they've joined Dawn Clan.
finally we come to Crow Rump, one of our most senior warriors. He is an adult male, the poor boy. He has so many, he's gotten sick and injured so many times, but currently he has a prominent scar from a snake bite that he survived. He likes wearing oak leaves behind his ear for whatever reason. Um, he also has a former apprentice being Stork Dapple. He's mates with Thunderfoot and also is a, uh, he also once saved Holly Paul from an enemy warrior during an attack. Next we have Claw Shade. Claw Shade is a young adult female who likes to wear blue jay feathers in her tail just for fun. Uh, she recently had kits with a warrior outside the clan or a loner. She really refused to tell anybody so nobody really knows. And unfortunately most of her kits didn't make it. She had Five kits being raccoon kit, alder kit, dog kit, daisy kit, and holly kit. Unfortunately, raccoon kit and alder kit both died before they became apprentices. Um, she mentored her own daughter, Holly Paw, at one point. And not long after her kits became warriors, a loner named Jayfoot decided to join the clan and they really hit it off and now they're mates. Next we have Jayfoot who is really kind of a mystery. He is a young adult male who w used to be a kitty pet but one day he just appeared at Dawn Clan's border and told the patrol that he met that he had been training for days and was finally ready to join Dawn Clan. They were a little hesitant at first but Lake Star led him into the clan, so here he is. He apprenticed. His apprentice was Daisy Paw, and the, she trained under him for a while, and it worked out well, so everyone's accepted him into the clan at this point. Next up, we have Glow Stem. She's actually a pretty recent member to the clan as well. She was originally in a different clan, but showed up one day claiming that she was also a survivor of a tragedy, and with her she brought her three kits, Cod Kit, Carp Kit, and Stork Kit, and of course Don Clan didn't want to turn away a queen in need, so they took in her and her kits. But there's really not much to say about Glow Stem, other than she currently has Light Paw as her apprentice, and she's doing her best to fit into the clan, but She's just kind of standoffish right now. Next we have one of our newest warriors, Carp Pond, whose mother was Glow Stem. She joined the clan as a kid and was also considered the survivor of a tragedy, although she was too young to remember what it was. Whenever she was apprenticed, she was apprenticed to Lake Star and tried her best to live up to the leader's expectations. Whenever she was named a warrior, she was honored for her energy and received the name Carp Pond. Whenever Carp Pond and her brother Stork Dapple had their vigil, it was uneventful and thankfully they passed easily. Stork Dapple is the brother of Carp Pond, but he's very different from both his sister and his mother. He's quite childish, although he's very smart, opposed to his sister's cold nature and his mother's downright bloodthirsty attitude. Whenever he was apprenticed, Stork Paw was apprenticed to Crow Rump, and he probably got his nice attitude from him. Whenever he was named a warrior, he was honored for his energy and was named Stork Dapple. 
and just like Carp Pond, his vigil was uneventful, thankfully. Our next couple warriors are the kits of Claw Shade, starting with Dog Lily. Dog Lily is a male young adult who is very loving and a great teacher. Dogpaw was apprenticed to Frostpelt whenever he became an apprentice and didn't have anything too eventful happen during their apprenticeship. Whenever they were named a warrior, they were honored for their wisdom and named Dog Lily. During their vigil, Dog Lily, Daisy Pelt, and Holly Jump, their siblings, were able to discourage a loner off their territory. Next kit is also Claw Shades kit, Daisy Pelt. Daisy Pelt is a young adult female who is altruistic and a great fart fighter. Whenever Daisy Paul was apprenticed, they were apprenticed to Jay Foot. Nothing too eventful happened during her apprenticeship. Whenever she was named a warrior, she was honored for her patience and given the name Daisy Pelt. Uh, whenever she joined Vigil with her siblings, she helped to discourage a loner from staying on their territory for too long. The last warrior that we have on this list is Claw Shade's youngest, which is Holly Jump. Holly Jump is a young adult female who is calm and an excellent speaker. Holly Kit was a apprentice to her mother, Claw Shade. Nothing much happened during her apprenticeship except for Crow Rump saving her from an enemy warrior. She'll never forget Crow Rump for doing her this favor. Whenever Holly Paul was named a warrior, she was honored for her enterprise and was named Holly Jump. She was happy to help discourage that loner from coming onto their territory during her vigil with her siblings. to our apprentices. As you might have noticed, I didn't actually mention who Lightpaw and Basspaw's parents were. Well, that's because they weren't clan born. Lightpaw and or Lightkit and Basskit were actually found at the border of Dawn Clan by Crow Rump while he was on patrol. And once bringing them back to camp, Crow Rump and Thunderfoot together decided to raise them as their own. Now we'll start with Lightpaw. Lightpaw is a female she-cat who is currently childish, and their mentor is Glowstem. 
Whenever they became an apprentice, Thunderfoot gave them some of his crow feathers to wear as an accessory, as a celebration. She hasn't yet become a warrior, but she's getting close, and she's quite excited. Like I mentioned with Light, Light Paw, Bass Paw was also found with her sister at the border and was raised by Thunderfoot and Crow Rump together. But she's very different from her sister Light Paw, where Light Paw is quite childish, Bass Paw is very strict and takes her training very seriously, of which she is currently training under Lake Star. Uh, maybe she just feels pressured since she's being mentored by the clan leader. And finally, our last cat, Drystream. Drystream is a male senior warrior. He is loyal and has a strong connection to Star Clan and previously mentored Ant Heart, who unfortunately has passed away. But Drystream was the first deputy of this clan and takes pride in that and continues to do what he can from the Elder's Den to help support the clan in his old age. Thanks everybody for joining me for my first video and I'll hope you'll stick around for the next one. Like I said, this is my update for year three of my clan gen challenge. This is Dawn Clan. If you want to see me play the game before I do these update videos on YouTube, be sure to head over to my Twitch, which I'll pop up on the screen now, and you can watch me play the game in between these videos. I also do other things like just draw, play Minecraft, and do other games. Hope you'll join me over there on Twitch sometime. But anyways, this has been Hawksayer. Hope you'll come back another time. Bye guys.